चल रहा था 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 ये ब्रोस्टे के थे ये शोर ना मार का था रा बाबा शे ब्रोस्टे क्या रा बाबा शे शे चल 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 बाबाशे A jealous flame. God is an all-consuming fire. Ye basho ko thora bagata. Share this with your friends. Invite your followers. We're going live into prayer in 30 seconds. Get shit cut to roll by shit. Shut up, bash to rede kadara. Get it. Shit it out 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 it 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 oh no no. Let's get started tonight. I want to pray against the enemies that stymie your advancement in life. For some of you, by the way, it's Jennifer Leclerc, senior leader of the Awakening House of Prayer. In case you did not know, hallelujah. I want to talk to you just for a moment then we're going to pray. Some of you there's just things in your life that are not moving. Some of you are dealing with satanic tag team demonic entourages stopping you thwarting you hindering you harassing you and the like some of you are just dealing with disappointments frustrations divisions upsets turn downs it's time to get sharp in the spirit we've got to be aware we've got to do what the bible says in 1 peter 5 and 8 be sober be vigilant be watchful because that enemy of yours the devil is roaming around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour now i am setting myself apart i am consecrating myself i am pulling back from a lot of conversations from a lot of meetings in this hour because i am going to a higher level a deeper level and i'm cutting out some of the nonsense but tonight i'm praying because i'm going to pray anyway i might as well pray for you and with you let's pray together second timothy 4 and 5 but watch in all things endure afflictions do the work of an evangelist make full proof your ministry your work may not be the work of an evangelist your work may be the work of a mother Your work, your God-ordained work may be uh, the work of a prophet. It may be the work of a school teacher. It may be something else. Whatever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord, but still you're getting resistance. <clears throat> Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Amen. And I am praying with the assistance of a book called Prayer Rain. This is not uh, the extent full extent of what we're going to pray, but I'm praying with the assistance. I want to uh, give credit and honor where honor is due. And I want us to make this confession. You can say this with me after me. Matthew 16:18. And I say unto you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Now, We're saying tonight and we're decreeing tonight that the gates of hell shall not prevail against your 
life. But let's give God praise before we go into warfare. Let's give him praise. Let's go in the right way. Father, I thank you today that you are good and you are God. I thank you today that you are a jealous flame, an all-consuming fire. Father, we come into your presence asking you, God, to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The unrighteousness that we are aware of, God, and the unrighteousness that we are not aware of, God. Those sins of omission, those sins of commission, the things we see, the things we don't see, God, as David prayed, Lord, cleanse us from the hidden sins, from the unknown sins. God, in the name of Jesus, we ask you to cleanse us completely from the top of our heads to the soles of our feet. Cleanse us, God, from every form and manner of unrighteousness, God. We lift up the name of Jesus. He is the warrior. He is is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He is the one who goes into battle and gains victory every time and every turn. Oh God, we thank you that we can follow you into battle. We thank you that we can follow you and you will lead us into triumph. We thank you, Lord, that you've never lost and there is no uh, failure. There is uh, no defeat. There is uh, no uh, turning back or turning down in you, but you will lift us up in due season as we humble ourselves in your presence. So we come to you tonight, God, and ask you to war for us and with us. You are the captain of the host, and if you are for us, then who can be against us? What would it matter anyway? Father, we thank you tonight that as we pray, angels are activated. Angels are on assignment. They hearken to the voice of your word. So we come to you tonight, God, making declarations, making decrees, making proclamation in Jesus' name. And I destroy the power of every satanic arrest in our lives in the name of Jesus. I break the powers of the power of the enemy. I take authority over the power of the enemy in Jesus' name. I say all satanic arresting spirits, release us in the name of Jesus. Relax your hold upon us. God, help us, Lord, to break the strongholds that are in our minds about who we are and what you've called us to, about even the obstacles that stand in our way. Sometimes, God, they seem insurmountable. Sometimes, God, those mountains appear immovable, but the only thing that is unshakable is your kingdom. We serve a God with an unshakable shakable kingdom. And we thank you, Lord, that you're shaking all things that can be shaken. We thank you, Lord, even now that you shake the enemy loose off of our inheritance in the name of Jesus. Shake the enemy's hands off of our advancement in the name of Jesus. We shall advance. We shall press on. We shall press through. I decree it. I declare it. I say it is so. Amen. Let it be, God, in the name of Jesus. I command every spiritual contamination in our lives to receive cleansing by the blood of Jesus. Let the brush of the Lord scrub out everything dirty in our spiritual pipes in the name of Jesus. God, create in us a clean heart and renew in us a right spirit. God, all the times we've complained about the hindrances, all the times we have moaned about out the harassing demons all the times we have kvetched and and, and, and and talked idly out of our mouths. God, forgive us and cleanse these spiritual pipes in the name of Jesus. Come on now. Track with me. I destroy everything that is representing me in the demonic world with the fire of God in the name of Jesus. Lord, teach me how to die to self. Teach us, God, how to die to self, to stop looking at self-advancement and start looking at God advancement, kingdom advancement, Jesus advancement, Holy Ghost advancement, church advancement, body advancement. God, help us to die to the self 
selfish ambition. You will not advance our agenda, but you will use us to advance your agenda. So we die to ourselves and our own ambitions. God, would you help us? Would you help us today to let it go and pick up the Lamb's agenda? In the name of Jesus, every rusted spiritual pipe in our lives receive wholeness now. I command every power eating up our spiritual pipes to be roasted with fire in the name of the Lord. Spirit of the living God, quicken the whole of my being for your glory. In the name of Jesus, I command every hole, every leak, every crack in our spiritual pipes to be closed now in the name of the Lord. Oh God, stretch us and renew our strength in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, open our eyes so that we can see beyond the visible and make the invisible real to us in the name of the Lord. God, God Almighty, ignite our callings by your fire. Light a fire under us, God, so we can advance your kingdom in the name of Jesus. Oh, whether that's mothers and fathers, businessmen, pastors, whatever it is you've called us to do, God, light a fire under us to do it with all our might as unto you in the name of Jesus. Let our spiritual pipes receive the strength of God against any and all demonic contamination in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, open our eyes. And let us have a revelation vision of the risen Christ. In Jesus' name, would you do it for your glory, God? Oh, Lord, liberate our spirits to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. I break every bondage, every fetter, every chain. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, I receive, we receive a heavenly flushing of our spiritual pipe. We confess that our spiritual pipes shall be effective throughout our lives in the name of the Lord. Holy Spirit, teach us to pray through problems instead of praying about them. Oh Lord, deliver us from the lies that we tell ourselves. Every evil spiritual padlock and chain hindering our spiritual growth be roasted in the name of the Lord. Oh, we rebuke every spirit of spiritual deafness and blindness that would cause us not to see, that would cause us not to hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we say, be broken, you are rebuked. Oh God, deliver us from the lies that the enemy tells us and empower us to resist the devil so that he would flee from me. The enemy of our advancement, we say flee. We are submitted to the Lord Jesus Christ. We resist the enemy of our advancement. And we decree and declare you must flee because the Bible says that you've got to go. So go now in the name of Jesus. I bind. I bind. We bind the strong men behind our spiritual blindness and deafness. I anoint. We anoint our eyes and our ears with the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. I choose. We choose to believe the report of the Lord and no other. Whatever the enemy wants to tell us about our advancement. Why we won't be promoted. Why we won't go forward. Why we won't get out of debt. Why we won't get rushed. Ah, up. I break every lie in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit melt all resistance now in the name of the Lord. Oh Lord, restore our spiritual eyes. Restore our spiritual ears. Anoint our eyes. Anoint our ears that they may see and hear the wondrous things that you are releasing from the heavenly realm. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit smash our pride in Jesus' name. We humble ourselves before you, God. We humble ourselves before you, God. You give grace to the humble. You resist the proud. Oh, God, we want to resist the enemy. We don't want you resisting us, so we humble ourselves and we say we can't do it without you, God. We can't do it apart from you. We can do nothing apart from you, but with you. We can do all 
things. Hallelujah, O Lord. Anoint us to pray without ceasing. I send the fire of God to my eyes and ears, to your eyes and ears, to melt away every satanic deposit in the name of Jesus. Let our spiritual eyes and ears be wide open. Ah, In the name of Jesus, we capture every power behind all spiritual blindness and deafness in the name of Jesus. Let our spiritual sight and hearing turn to the Lord and receive healing from the demonic toxification and contamination that the enemy has put upon us. Holy Spirit, reign on us now in the name of Jesus. Wash away the residue from the past season, God, in the name of the Lord. You spirit of confusion, loose your hold over our lives now in the name of Jesus. In the power of the Holy Spirit, I defy Satan's power. Oh, I thank you, Lord. Luke 10, 19 says we shall tread on serpents and scorpions and nothing shall by any means harm us you enemies of the gospel in my life be paralyzed in the name of Jesus oh God God almighty begin to clean away from our lives all that does not reflect your glory and your ways and your will in Jesus name I reject every and all spiritual pollution. Lord Jesus, oh God, mold us and fill us. Use us by the power of your spirit. Oh God, let us lose ourselves in you so we can advance your kingdom. Holy Spirit fire, ignite us to the glory of God. Oh Lord, let the anointing of the Holy Spirit break every yoke of backwardness in our lives. In Jesus' name, let my spirit man, let our spirit, Spirit man, become divine fire. In the name of the Lord, I frustrate every demonic arrest over our spirit man's God. Let the blood of Jesus remove any retrogressive label from every area of our lives in Jesus' name. All anti-breakthrough decrees be revoked in the name of the Lord. All uh, decrees uh, spoken and curses spoken over our advancement by parents and teachers, even ourselves, our spouses, our fa- oh God, we revoke them now in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, destroy every satanic garment in our lives. Lord, give us the keys to good success so that anywhere I go, the doors of prosperity will be opened to us in Jesus name father we thank you we thank you Lord nothing is too hard for you nothing is too great for you nothing is too much for you you are Lord of all you threw the devil and all his uh, angels out of heaven there was a war in the heaven don't we think there's going to be a war in our lives God but I thank you that we win we win every war that we choose to follow you into that we choose to allow you to lead us into you've given us your weapons and you've given us your blood you've given us your armor and you've given us your name the name above every name you've given us all of these things all things pertaining to life and godliness you've given it to us in the name of Jesus we're so grateful God for what you're doing for what you're gonna do we say we we advance we advance rapidly hallelujah I thank you Lord that you are the God that redeems the time and so we give a shout out to you the redeemer of time the lifter of our head the lover of our soul and I discern somebody on the broadcast tonight has come up under friendly fire there's somebody that you thought was on your side you you thought they were going to help you advance and they uh, they betray it was treachery I'm hearing the word treachery it was treacherous you've been the victim of the spirit of treachery operating through someone that you thought was going to help you advance I see a business partner, someone uh, recently betrayed by a business partner. I don't know who you are. I'm not really checking out the comments uh, very closely here. I don't know who you are, a business partner. Your business partner. Your business partner. 
your business partner committed treachery. I break the powers of this treacherous spirit coming against your advancement in the name of Jesus. We lost Facebook. I come against it in the name of the Lord. We say double fire on the spirit of treachery in the name of Jesus. We come against it with the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony and our selflessness. selflessness. And God, we forgive all those who have betrayed us, who have committed treacherous acts against us. We forgive them in the name of the Lord. We say we will rise above it and we will advance despite it. We will run to the battle line knowing that when the enemy is caught stealing, he's got to repay seven times. So Father, thank you tonight for your goodness and your glory over our advancement. That you propel us forward Father, thank you that you have promised us that the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church and we are your church. So fathers, we seek to advance your agenda. I ask you, to release double fire on every enemy of the advancement that you have ordained for us from the foundations of the earth. We thank you, Lord, for your wisdom, for your revelation. In Jesus' name, oh God, thank you, Jesus, for what you're doing, for what you're doing, for what you're doing, for what you're doing, for what you're doing. doing. For what you're doing. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. I just wanted to share with you for just a moment. I've got a new devotional coming out. That you can order, pre-order online. It's called Victory Decrees. And it's a spiritual warfare devotional. Words, the Holy Spirit spoke to me about spiritual warfare. And I want to point you to that. We're going to be doing some special spiritual warfare sessions. But you can find that on my website at jenniferleclair.org or on amazon.com. It's called Victory Decrees. Hallelujah. Listen, if you want to sow into this tonight, maybe this helped you. I was going to pray longer, but there was a, there was a, a glitch, and I want to make sure Facebook got back on. If you want to sow into this tonight, you can do so at jenniferleclair.org slash give. All the different ways. I'm not going to go through them. All the different ways to give are listed there. There's Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, P.O. Box. It's all there. If you want to sow into this tonight, then I encourage you to do so. An advancement seed. Name it Advancement. I believe things were broken in the spirit tonight. I feel charged. I feel energized. And I'm going to go back into prayer and study tonight. I'm in a season uh, where I'm really really consecrating myself, not doing any unnecessary meetings or talking. And yeah, I'll still do my prayer call. I'll still be on Facebook Lives and do, do those things as I share with you some of the things I'm discovering and learning. But it's time. Amen. You want to learn more about spiritual warfare? Take my school of spiritual warfare, school of the spirit.tv. Tomorrow, is it tomorrow? We'll be doing a special prayer call for Israel. You want to join that? Go to my Eventbrite. And then uh, as well, we'll be doing a special prayer call over France with regard to the France on fire prophecy that I released. We'll be praying for France uh, to thwart any terroristic agendas that may try to uh, rise up in the midst of this chaos so there's there that's on eventbrite you just need to register because this is how you're going to get the dial-in information there's lots of free stuff on there for you to be part of jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com you want to take the school of spiritual warfare go to school of the spirit.tv i'm going to do these impromptu these spiritual warfare prayers I don't know why Facebook cut off, but I'm going to be doing these impromptu. The book doesn't come out for a little while. 
but I'm just in a mood to war, and I don't want to war every morning in our morning prayer call. So I said, you know what? Let me, let me do a few night prayer calls. Amen. The Watchmen and Warriors Conference with Dr. Cindy Trim is going to be an Awakening House of Prayer uh, May 31st through June the 2nd. You need to fly down here and get here. It's just going to be tremendous. Dr. Cindy Trim's actually writing the forward to my new spiritual warfare devotional. And uh, she'll be down here with us in South Florida. The night sessions are open to the public, but you must register. If you do not register, it's chances are you may not find a seat. Our seating is limited. Amen. I will be going to Israel as well. The Israel 2020 prophetic prayer tour. Walk where Jesus walked. Pray where David slayed. You can find that online. Tinyurl.com slash Israel with Jennifer. I don't really want to get too far into that tonight either, but it's tinyurl.com slash Israel with Jennifer. Don't start with me, Facebook trolls. I'm not in the mood. Amen. Awakening School of Ministry is launching May 1st. We're teaching you practical aspects of ministry. If you're in South Florida, come on out. There's no charge for that. If you're not, there's a nominal fee to watch it online. London, I'll be with you. New York, D.C., all of this is on Facebook, uh, Eventbrite, jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. Go check it out. Get involved in what blesses you. Amen? God is good all the time, even when there's warfare against your life. There's so much there for you. Go check it out. Listen, I got to go. I need to go back into prayer and study. And if you have any questions, email the office. God bless you. Have a good night. All right, Periscope. Facebook was getting crazy tonight. I don't know what's up with these Facebook people. I do not know what's up with these Facebook people. We might have to keep this evening thing to Periscope. Amen. God is good. <laughs> Facebook froze. Is that what happened? Because I had to go back on. It distracted me. I almost never look at the comments, but right then I was looking for that business person that I was prophesying about, the word of knowledge about, and I looked to see on Facebook, and then I realized it was off. Amen. Interesting. All right, guys, I got to go. Have a good night. I'll be back with you tomorrow morning. Bless you.